Hey guys, can you hear me? Yeah, Harvey the dog made me do it. Um, can you guys hear me? But Sam Carr is the one that made. Uh, it's now buffering. Great. That is so YouTube. I'm trying to think if I have anything open. Believe me, you don't want to see me. I look like hell. <clears throat> like total hell. All right, so hopefully you guys aren't buffering. But let me check. Let me do a quick check. Um... Marissa is making fun of my tech issues. Oh my God, I look like shit. I was literally running around so much. <laughs> um, uh oh, someone wants to say hi. Do you know the live early was like the first live the fluff and nut of butter was not in? Come here. You want to say hi? Come here. Come here, Fluffy. I know, right? They're trying to sabotage my YouTube. So I'm going to wait for a couple more people to get in before we start talking about making a murderer earlier. And a lot of people have asked me to discuss um, the, uh, whatchamacallit, the um, Griesbach lawsuit. Hopefully he'll still come on the show after he's got this lawsuit going. Donna, you can't hear me? Can everyone else hear me? Peekaboo Crystal. Can everyone else hear me? All right. Yeah, we're going to be doing Son of Sam. But a lot of people have asked me to do the other stuff too. See, Marissa, you missed it this afternoon. It, like, it was crazy. Thanks, guys. So I know Ericos was covering Mike, um, O, and Bobby. Anything new? Go out and come back in. I don't know if I can. See, some people saying it's good. Some people saying it isn't. <clears throat> like Joe hears me loud and clear. <laughs> Don, are you muted? Um, he said they won't be talking. I know I saw that. And that's why I was like, you know what? Maybe it won't interrupt it. Maybe it will. Cool, Lindsay. Don't judge me spending too much money. Anyone wanted to replenish my bank account? I uh, can donate money to Laura by Super Chat, and then I'll just have her transfer it to me. <laughs> <clears throat> Come here, Snuffles. Come here, Snuffles. Um, so, yeah, so a lot of people have asked me to talk about it. Um, I, I only caught some of Ericos's. I caught the end of it only because I was curious because I'm literally, like, the only one that had Michael on radar. So that's why I did a couple of videos about it. And then I got Manitowoc, T. Manitowoc into it. Then I got uh, Millbilly into it. So it was like I was starting to get people on the radar. So I was wondering if Iricos came up with anything new. Like, is there new evidence that I didn't know about or anything? Um, <clears throat> come here. Come here. Hey, Patty. Come here. So I'm going to explain how down Zelna thinks the DNA rapid results come back. That is someone proves Avery was framed. Um, Bet just want to say, hi, are you loud and clear? Thank you, Patty. I hope your motorcycle trip to New Orleans was awesome. Um, <clears throat> Greg, I have no idea. Lindsay, I don't have any cats. I don't like cats. I have two dogs. Why do, you, do I look like a cat lady? Come on. Um, 
Yeah, Greg, that's what I was saying earlier. I don't know if you were in the two hour live. I personally do not think much. I don't think this was big news. And Marissa said something that I didn't realize. She already discussed this in Making a Murderer too. So this was absolutely not new or huge. I'm trying to get the dog. You mean the big dog? He's outside. Um, I'm trying to get the other one with my feet. Whoop. Uh, unless the new DNA test had a GPS element. Yeah, I mean, I'll say it again. Like I said earlier, I do not think this was anything big. Um, I certainly don't think it was like mind blowing, earth shattering. Like I said, it wasn't. I am um, as for you guys that were there earlier. I fought with Travis about it. Um, I'm sticking to my guns. This was nothing major or dramatic because she hasn't even gotten approved yet. Um. It doesn't prove she was burned at the gravel pit. The bones found there weren't in a fire pit. Greg, I am so with you 100%. I said it earlier. I was watching Son of Sam and I saw you go live. Big news was a letdown. Stace, didn't I warn you it was going to be a letdown? I told you guys, do not get too excited. Because she never comes up with anything new. I mean, she doesn't do anything like big on, um, on Twitter. But what I didn't realize what Marissa said, and that is these lights are bright and that um, she had already discussed it on making a murderer too. <clears throat> Fluff and nut butter sound like a cat. No. Fluff and nut butter is a baby Maltese. Come here. Come here. Ugh. Try to grab him with my legs. It's not easy. Come here. Ugh. You're not listening. Um. Ugh. No, I'm definitely not a cat lady, Lindsay. I also want to show you guys something. That we'll get into after. Hold on. Lindsay, that's fluffing out of butter. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to get him. He's, he won't let me grab him. I'm trying to find a girl to meet him with. And I can't find anyone. I got to turn these lights off. They're killing me. Oh. Better. I just saw a tweet the day. Yeah, someone else said that, Spicy, that they're postponing the 20th. Um, it's just not not the same. What do you mean, Donna? Zellner is losing credibility with the publicity stunt, in my opinion. More and more, I think she's in this for the fame. Greg, she doesn't really need fame. It's definitely, I don't believe it's for fame. I don't think that's what it's about. But I'm pretty like, I could see why, this is my own personal opinion. I may be wrong, so don't like hold me to this. But I'm kind of thinking that the reason why she postponed it is because the attorney general didn't agree to this testing so she added it in her appeal for the 20th. That's my guess. Damn, Lindsay, that's a lot. You must know how to train them. Come here, dummy. Um, so, Greg, that's my guess in this. I can't say I'm right, but I'm earlier. Nobody's going to cave. It's going to be a domino effect. There's no way that anyone is going to cave. Like, who's going to cave? Bobby and Scott? They'll end up in jail. Colburn? Obviously not. Do you see what I'm saying? Like, I don't think anyone's going to cave. Why make a big deal of it now? The public doesn't need to know. Um, Greg, I am right there with you. You and I are, like, right on the same wavelength. Susan, I did. And I think it's the stupidest thing I ever heard. Like the stupidest. Why is there buffing? Oh, here's the big dog. 
I, I have no idea why it keeps buffering. Let me double check. I know I'm going to get to, I was waiting for more people to come in before I got into that. Cause everyone asked me to get into that and I had read it earlier, but I just don't get that. Netflix attorneys are going to be better than Michael Griesbach. Sorry, but they're going to be. So why in the fuck would Colburn think he can take on Netflix, a multi-billion dollar corporation with the, like the best of the best attorneys to go against some local Wisconsin attorney slash author makes absolutely no sense to me. Um, he has a very healthy ego, but still like you have to be an idiot to take on a multi-billion dollar corporation like Netflix as some local attorney. It's ludicrous. It makes no sense to me. Don agrees back is, um, agrees. Oh, you need to write it. Cause you have no sound. All right. Marissa, you have to write it. Um, Netflix just settled another suit against them. Oh, you think that's why do you think he's going to settle? You think they're going to sell, but Netflix isn't responsible. They didn't do anything. All they did was provide a platform. Um, uh, thanks, Strange Exchange. We're talking about a whole bunch of things. But I don't see what Netflix did. They're a platform. It's You can't... I don't see how he can sue them. He volunteered not to say his side in the movie. So in the documentary. So however he's portrayed, he was asked to be in it. He chose not to. I don't see how they can possibly win. If you think that Griesbeck is the upper hand being in a corrupt system in Wisconsin. Well, yeah, but I mean, why would he ask Griesbeck? Why didn't he ask Kratz? No, seriously. Like, why wouldn't you go for a top, top attorney? That's a big lawsuit. Um, just draws more attention. So good for SD. And you're probably right. Yeah, Spicy. I don't get it either. He's not a public figure. He's, from what I understand, he's not very trusted. Um, he's not very liked by the MAM crew. They, like, think he's a traitor. So I don't know. Let's sue all news agencies because they said bad things about me that are true. He should have asked Kaczynski. I know Kratz doesn't have a license. I was kind of joking. Um, but you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't get why Griesbeck is Griesbeck isn't, I don't even think he's like big enough to take on a multi million dollar, billion dollar corporation like that. It's kind of like Laura going in front of the um, Anc Blanc panel. She wasn't experienced enough. Like, I just don't see how Colburn thinks he can win this. You know, like you have to have different, like you have to have a um, reason and their reason is going to be, you could have been in there. You chose not to. We didn't do anything. All we did was state facts. They're not going to be able to win. Griesbeck is a solid dude. He's set to come on here in two weeks. Kratz lost his license, or he gave it up his license. The audio is Jack now. This is like an old Bruce Lee fic. Got any karate movies? Why is it so jacked? I don't get it. Um, Ziggy, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything, Zig. Oh, you know what, though? It may be because I hit my microphone a couple of times. Greg, I did kick it. And I, like, hit it. Yes, we could talk about Son of Sam. Uh, did you see the video? Did you watch the video, Missy? All right, good. Uh, I just did a video on it. <clears throat> Um, I uploaded a video. It's about 20 minutes on Son of Sam. 
Yeah, I know because Ericos was doing his, so I didn't want to do a premiere when I promised this would be eight. So that's why I decided, you know what, let me upload the video and then I'll maybe hopefully people have enough time to watch it, which is why I didn't want to make it too long. So it's about 20 minutes. Um, but yeah, if you, if for those of you who want to talk about Son of Sam and haven't watched the video yet, I would say, uh, This shit's pissing me off. I don't know why. I mean, uh, let me check my internet, but I'm pretty sure my internet is good. Um, uh, what is my internet? I'm hardwired in and I'm running at 600 megabytes per second. So I don't know why it's buffering. Um, it's so weird. Um, yeah, I don't, it's gotta be them. I don't know what my internet is good. There's not too many people on. I don't know why it's buffering so much. I'm getting pissed, though. Oh, you know what? Let me check something. Oh, you know what? I can't check it while it's live. I think I know why. I do think I know why, but I can't fix it while I'm live. But I promise you I'll fix it for the next one. So, Mass Cobra, hold on. So, what I was saying, though, in the Son of Sam video, which I found super, super interesting, is that um, he is now, like, all these Christians and stuff, they look at him as an apostle of God. Are you kidding me? Like, he was a serial killer. Um, he's just, he's crazy. Um. Um, oh, Ziggy, now I got you. I have Audible. I could check it out. I will definitely check it out. Thank you. That's a video about Berkowitz. Talks about being in a cult. No, like these born-again Christians. Um, do I still, I think I still have it up. Um, yeah. So a growing flock of renegade Christians who no joke, believe that the reformed serial killer is an apostle of the Lord. Who would think he's an apostle of the Lord? And people wonder why I am, um, why I'm an atheist. Running to the police. Uh, still buffering on everyone. Yeah, I don't know why it's buffering. I mean, I do, but I don't think I could fix it while I'm on a call. I mean, while I'm live. Do you want me to close it out and reopen? Is it that bad? Because I, I have a feeling it's the settings because I watched the video through and there was no buffering at all. So I don't know what it is. Yeah, everyone keeps saying it's okay and that it's bad. There's lots of atheists. I've been an atheist since I was uh, 13. And I'm thinking that that's why I was so obsessed with Son of Sam. He was literally my first like serial killer. Um, I don't know if it was because in New York, it was because, I mean, there were a lot of reasons probably, but I became obsessed with serial killers because of Son of Sam. It's good until it's bad. Exactly. 
Yeah, but it shouldn't be buffering at all. I mean, the only thing I can think of, it's, it's the internet, deal with it, people. But it's not, Phyllis. It's like YouTube. Um, I'm running 600 megabytes per second that I'm hardwired in. It should not be buffering. Um, all right. Process church of the final judgment. He called it a cult. CMS Cobra, I'm on 600. I don't, I didn't see buffering either, but everyone's saying it's buffering. So it's got to be the settings. YouTube like changes settings or something. Come on, Skippy. Um, Stacy, you're in North Alabama. Stacy, you one of parents that live in Madison. Oh. I'm in Madison. Now that I'm telling the whole world where I live. But I met someone in one of the groups that uh, whose parents live like five minutes away from me. I said, go, we can come hang out. Stacy, though, you're finally someone from Alabama. This afternoon, we went through like hundreds of people and nobody was from Alabama. I was like, is there nobody from Alabama? Come on, Skippy. If you like serial killers, you should get DVD Boogeyman. It's all about it. Yeah, I've seen all of them. Absolutely, Stacy. We can go out partying. Suggested that you do the Craigslist killer. I've done the Craigslist killer. Well, I, I didn't do it live, but you know, the one thing about the Craigslist killer that kind of solidified my belief in public defenders were useless. In the movie, it's one of the things that the cops said. The cops turn around and said that, um, oh, he's got a public defender. We can nail him. That's not the way it's supposed to be. What is the view and cup cardboard option? Anyone know? What are you talking about, Steve? I used to live close to Alabama. I'd rescue animals from there. Come here. Come here. Not you. Mark, we were talking about the Daniel Holtzlaw case. And I, I'm i so confused on what I think if he's guilty or innocent. I've looked into both sides. I've researched both sides. I don't know what I think. Oh, my God. No. Not happening. Um, I want to see Zac Efron play Ted Bundy. Big doggy tail, yeah. He's the big one. <clears throat> I'll Google it after you're live, okay? Um, but going back to um David Berkowitz, you know, just the fact that he completely terrorized the city, he completely terrorized, like he was so sick that he killed, you know, in all five boroughs. It was Manhattan, the Bronx, um, uh, Manhattan, the Bronx, Queens, Staten Island, and Brooklyn. And he, like, killed in every single place. And it was like nobody was safe. And it, I don't know. I don't know what attracted me to him, you know, like as far as the case goes when I was so young. But he was literally my lifelong for serial killers. But you guys definitely, if you guys have not looked into the video that I just posted, you want to check it out. Um, that's close to your home. Close to my home, Spicy Mina, New York. It was. How old were you when he was killing? Oh, I was only five. But we were living in Brooklyn. And then we moved out to Queens. And then we moved out to Long Island. But like I said in the video, like my dad was from the Bronx. My mom was from Brooklyn. That That's what I was thinking. That's why I became obsessed with it. Like he's the most infamous serial killer in New York history. I actually have serial murder cards that I've had since I'm like 14. 
still have them. If they were worth anything, I would sell them, but they're not really worth anything. I think they were on like $60 on Amazon. I think if they were a couple thousand, I would so uh, sell them. I have connections to British cases. Yeah, I'm not, I don't know those British cases. What about the Vampire Brooklyn? I don't remember the Vampire Brooklyn. I grew up in Detroit in the 60s and 70s. As kids, we played, made a game called Bloody Murder. Uh, it's scary to think that serial killers can use the net now. Lots of prey out there. That's very true, Spicy. And it's not only that, but like, you know, and I said this in the video, that like back then, it was so hard to catch somebody. Like, I think David Berkowitz was the first, like, serial killer to leave letters for the cops and stuff and taunt people and taunt the neighbors and taunt the cops. And it's so easy to get caught today. Why are you stealing my socks? It's so easy to get caught today, where then it was, like, so easy to get away with it. I know, serial killers with social media, that would be pretty funny, actually. What? Um, come on. Fluffing out about is being a little nightmare. Come on. He don't like me tonight. He just wants to eat my feet. Um... And they have, how about the guys that promised a job on Craigslist and three killed and killed three guys and one got away? Scary if you think about it, they can create an audience on here. Well, hell yeah. Do you guys ever see some of the stuff on the dark web? Ooh, that's, that's pretty scary. If you got the chance, would I interview a serial killer? Oh, fuck yeah, I would interview a serial killer. I would interview a serial killer every day of the week. I just got texts from channel 3000. David, that's old. We've already discussed that. Colburn is suing MAM producers as well as Netflix. And Michael Griesbach is the attorney that is suing. Uh, Moore's murders killed five children in the 60s. Harold Shipman killed over 300 of his patients and forged their wills to leave himself money. The problem is, Ziggy, is that I can't, um, like, if I was still in New York, I would take a trip, but I don't know any serial killers that are in Alabama, and, like, why would they talk to me? But I would so interview them. I even interview them, like, over the phone. I should start writing them. I'll start writing different serial killers. Hey, that'll be fun. What serial killers are even really still alive? Like, what infamous ones are still alive? A lot of them are dead already. Hey, I can just start writing people on death row. Richard Ramirez. Visualize Laura with Hannibal Lecter. <laughs> Imagine that. BTK. But are they accessible? Like, some of them, you can't write them letters or anything. So not everyone is accessible. Wow. Ramirez died. Yeah, I think Maria's, Ramirez did die. Ew, Don, I would never marry one. Sorry, I don't want to marry somebody on death row. Uh, William Phelps did that on his show, Dark Matters. Really? You know what's funny, though? If you look at these people on death row... I am innocent. I didn't do it. They're in there for life. Everybody's innocent. Nobody did it. It's kind of funny, really. Nurses that kill their patients in nursing homes. I've heard about those stories. You see a lot of that on ID. I don't know. I guess like Susan, um, what's her name? That's who Raven was on Dark Matters. Happy face. I don't know what Dark Matters is. Stop. Ted Bunny admitted he did it and helped him in the end. Yeah, he did. 
right before he was executed. And John Wayne Gacy had some beautiful artwork. I've heard of Dark Matters, but I can't think of what it is exactly. But. Ow, you bit my toe. Um, I don't know, but like I can, I guess like, uh, Stacy, not Stacy, Susan Yates. I bet there's a lot of people I could write to that would actually write back, but I don't know how much it's on YouTube. You'd like it. I'll check it out. Have you guys seen the documentary on the abortion doctor, Kermit Gosnell? No. Come here. Ref. Oops. Um, fluffing out a bit my toe so bad, I think it's bleeding. Have you ever into SA or BD? No, I have not. I never did. Is the Green River Kill still alive? I think he is. I watched a documentary on him. He was weird. Like, he was a normal guy. Shut up. Um, do you know any? I've I've heard of him, but I don't know much about him. The happy face killer. What? Sage. Susan Smith. That's what I was talking about. Andrea Yates, Susan Smith. Um, Zodiac will always fascinate me. They'll never figure it out either. I agree. He's long dead. I don't believe he's still alive. I think he's long dead. Oh. Um, Berkowitz is still alive. Yeah, he's still alive. Till he's one of these people that will live ah. forever. What? Stop. Wow, someone's a pain in the ass tonight. Um, I don't know. Maybe I should write some serial killers and see. I think the Zodiac killer was a cop. I don't know, Missy. I mean, anyone ah. can guess, but I can tell you the Zodiac killer was probably the smartest killer ever known because he was never caught. I mean, a lot of people have admitted to being him, but they never were. Um, at least a woman. Yeah, I, I knew about the happy face killer. Paul Bernardo and Hermika. No, Paul's still in jail. Hermika's got it released. Eileen Warmos. I really felt bad for her. I was thinking about her, but she died. She's, she was executed. Come here. Come here. Come here, Buka. Buka's nice. Um, I think the county cooperated... Come here. Come here. She wasn't a psycho, though. She just got really fucked up. Come here. Um, Zodiac will always be one of the biggest mysteries. I totally agree with that. But, uh, Greg, we were talking about her last night. And Paul's, I believe, is still in jail. But she's living like a normal life. Your dog hates me. He really does tonight. He's never like this, and he's so annoying. I don't know what his problem is. Kelly, there's been a... Not Kelly. Um, There's been a couple of shows about the happy face killer. Um... Whoop. 
and doesn't want to give the big doggy attention. Oh, no. Paul got life without parole. Hamarka has a kid now. Yeah, I saw that, Greg. There was was a recent story about her because uh, because um, she her school or something didn't want her around or a kid's school. Hello, this is a shirt. No, you'll tear it apart. No, you'll tear it apart. He can't. Uh, not school people from the community, which is still kind of fucked up, but she should have got way more than five years. I mean, she killed her own sister. She killed her sister and raped her sister. Come here. Oh, stop, both of you. Ugh. No, stop. Enough. Enough. Um. Hey, Dayton. Come here. Let Booga out and get stinky butt. Get Winston for me. I can't lift him. Why? No, he just won't let me catch him. <sighs> Fluff is a pain in the ass tonight. And then when I try to pick him up, he runs. So now you have to corner him. Get him. <laughs> oh, got him. Left another butter. He's being a pain in the butt. <laughs> um, I heard you were playing with uh, someone I know. Ooh. He said he was going to get you. I forgot his name. I forgot his online name, but he showed me a picture. Say hi, everyone. They can't see you. <laughs> um, what do you mean he forgot? You forgot YouTube is jacked up because of updates. Is that what it is? Because of updates? Hi, yeah, Fluffy. Hi, Fluffy. He's ugly. He's not ugly. You're ugly. <laughs> Call him Fluffy Nut a Butter ugly. He is. Look <laughs> at that face. Ugh. Mwah. So what's his username? All right. Whatever? What? What were you talking about? What do you mean, what was I talking about? You said there was a guy that you were playing with that I know. I'll show you. Guys, hang on one second. One mm -hmm. of my, one of, uh, one of our family members had asked me what his gaming name was. I bet you it's wrong what you said. So I gave it to him because they both gave him the same game. So he <laughs> said he was gonna get you. Sure, man. Um Ow. I can't find it. I'll, I'll find it later. But he said he was getting you. Let me go see if someone added me. He sent me a picture. He did? Tell me mom is going to be 48. I don't know. You were playing a. Uh, um, uh, Space Lords? Fortnite? No, no, no. Um, Brawlhalla? Grand Theft Auto. Oh. He just sent me a picture. He's like, time to get him. And he showed me you were up. I can't remember where. Well, kind of. When did he send you this? I don't know. A little while ago. Okay, then it's gonna be in your earlier messages. All right, whatever. Goodbye. 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 Did he send it, he send it through message? No. Goodbye. I will talk to you later. Bye. Jeez. Oh, well. No, he plays Fortnite twenty four seven. That's a lie. But this he was playing uh. GTA. Uh, GTA. Oh, Lindsay plays it too. Who? Lindsay. Who's that? I um, don't know if you're ever interested in the case of what truly really happened to Kurt Cobain, but I think it's been fascinating for years. I think Courtney Love knows what happened. I became obsessed. Christabel, honestly, that's a good case to cover. I kind of believe that he killed himself, 
I think she was just so fucked up on drugs that she may have may have not realized it, but I'm pretty sure he committed suicide. He was fucked up. No GTA allowed in my house. No way, Patrick. Um, I don't really think she knows anything. I think she was just too much of too high. But I, I mean, he even his lyrics, you can tell he was fucked up. Coleman committed suicide. He had quite a few songs where he hinted it. I agree, Greg. That's what I'm saying. Sid and Nancy. That's you know what though, Karen. Sid and Nancy is one of the greatest love stories ever. I mean, it really is. Uh, way too violent. My son is 11. So is he. <sighs> Patrick, honestly, I said the same thing for the longest time. And then I'm like, you know what? Let me just teach him what's real and what's a video game. Her talked about suicide a lot. He did. Um... People blamed her because she was the closest to him and she was completely fucked up. She was a total drug addict. So, yeah. Do they still beat hookers? You know what, though? He's never gone into that. Like, he he thinks it's gross. He's more into the killing, the, you know, driving and that kind of stuff and making money. He has no desire to deal with the hookers and stuff because his older brother, my other mom, was like laughing at him about it. And he's like, yo, look what you can do. He's like, ew, gross. I don't want to see that. So he's not into all that. Heroin is a mofo. Yes, it is. Uh, Robert Durst. Robert, refresh my memory. I know the name, but I can't place it. But he's really into Fortnite. He loves Fortnite. Sadly, most people kill themselves are actually happy in appearance. Um, the stairwell. I think he's guilty. I do. That you, Nothing's going to change my mind. I watched that movie like five times. I, I still think he's guilty. My son plays Fortnite. Hockey takes up too much time. Durst is a music. Oh, the one in California that killed like the, the girlfriend or the wife or something. It did, but Karen, it's like Sid and Nancy is honestly the greatest love story ever. It's like a metal, a punk version of Romeo and Juliet. And he so loved her. No, not Fred Durst. Killed his wife, went on the run, neighbor found out. No, it's not who I was thinking of then. He chopped him up and killed his friend. Someone else said something about the jinx. GG, the staircase is Michael Peterson. Yes. Durst is New York. Robert Durst, millionaire. TV doc from HBO, the jinx. Maybe I don't know then. I'm trying to, I don't think I know the jinx now, but a couple of people have mentioned it. I have to check it out. Yeah, I'll have to check it out. I don't know that much about it. Um, Phil Spector. Thank you. Wow, you guys are good with names. I am so bad with names. What trial is coming up soon? Ugh. Yeah, I'm going to watch the jinx. Are you guys watching... Um, What's it called? Innocent Man? I still haven't finished it. Fear of 13 2. Laura, if you ever get the chance, check out documentary Soaked in Bleach. I did see that. And I did see it. And I, I you know, I weighed both factors. And I remember hearing like this the guy, the private eye or whatever, was incredible or something, or the lawyer. I don't remember what it was. But something about it was incredible, and I don't know. I just kind of feel like he did it. He hinted it. Thank you, Phoebe. That's what I'm saying, too. It is so slow. Um, 
didn't take it in. Need to rewatch it. I need to watch to rewatch all of it. I just don't think I could sit through episode one and two again. <clears throat> it starts to pick up more. I became obsessed with that private investigator. I followed him on YouTube. Yeah, there's something about him that just, it, someone said, I read somewhere that it was incredible. He was incredible. <clears throat> uh, well, confusing with all the dream confessions. He's a pain in the butt. Right, you pain the butt. Greg, but again, I've said this before. That's the whole thing with Ryan, um, with Ryan Ferguson. His partner, or whatever, said that it was because of um what you call it, that it was because of his dreams, is how Ryan Ferguson ended up in jail for 10 years. Kids for Cash was excellent. Truth talk. Do you think Amanda Knox had something to do with Meredith's deaths? Honestly, Rusty, I don't know much about it, but she was in and out of jail so much in a foreign jail. Even if she did, she paid her time. She served her time. Uh, but I really, I don't think so. <clears throat> What's up, Aftershock? So, guys, coming up, too, in a Google Hangout, I have to set it up with all parties. I have, we're going to rehash the John Benet Ramsey case again because I have two people that claim they know so much about the case. So it'll be interesting to have both of them, to hear both of them on a Hangouts because I don't know like extensively about the case, but they both mm -hmm. want to talk about the case. So mm -hmm. we're going to do a Hangout. Um, I just got to work it out with mm -hmm. both of them. Kids for Cash, it used to be on Netflix. <clears throat> Uh, it's a really good movie, though. You should look it up, Christabel. It's it's it'll open your eyes to judges that took money for foster kids and kids going to jail. I mean, it's unreal. Yeah, a lot of people like that. Uh, John Benet Ramsey. What are you doing? You got the hiccups. Um, I think Amanda Kay is innocent. Kids for cash. Kids for cash was frightening. I will totally agree with you, Karen. Is he growl because you stop patting him? He just growls when he gets mad. Um, I found kids for cash on YouTube. Oh, you can watch it on YouTube. What happened to Born Again Son of Sam tonight? Lori, I did a video on it. <clears throat> There's I uploaded a video while Iricos was doing his thing. But it ended like right before I started this. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, Aftershock is one of the um, is one of the people speaking on the panel. Bye, Greg. Gemini case makes me hug my kids a little tighter. I'll agree with that. Sorry, daughter's once again asking for last minute Christmas gifts. Oh, you didn't watch your record? No, I put in a um. The video, if you look there, I uploaded a video around 7.30 on the Son of Sam. <clears throat> um, we never talk about the Aurora shooting. There are so many shootings to talk about. Like, literally, there's so many cases. Um, so, Aftershock, you're in Colorado. What do you think about Chris Watts? Cause I've known aftershock for a couple of years already. And she was, would you shut up? And she was telling me <laughs> that cases that happen in Colorado are really like close to home and they take them very seriously. He did it all. Well, I knew that. I mean, we all knew that. Well, not everyone. A lot of people didn't know that. See what he does to me. He bites me. No biting. Bah. No. What's on Fluffer's butt? Nothing. It's just his butt. Ow. Never heard anyone get 2000 for a finder's fee, let alone $2 million. What are you talking about? $2 
2000 what do you mean i'll take two grand for a finder's fee uh, I'm not familiar with the Chris Watts case. I guess I'm out of loop. I've been obsessing over SA and BD. Chris Watts case is done, Christabel. He he pled guilty to all 12 count, all nine counts, and is in jail for life. Um a penguin. Yeah, it's a penguin. You didn't like pizza bomb or bank heist. I don't even know what that is. I'm telling you, I don't have a lot of time to follow tons of cases. I'm surprised I've followed this one so intently. I watched a video from the cop cam and they viewed video of Chris Watts lowering the bodies into his truck. I think it's probably true, people in any state, that if we talk about a case, it's a serious soft spot. Yeah, probably. And then we'll listen to case file, true crime. Nope. medicine go it was on the counter yep that's aftershock and i've known aftershock for a long time i up until today i didn't know who she was i'm here very late son her i'll not smash that like always the judge in cash for kids said he got two million for a finder's fee that's right for the construction of a juvenile prison so if you guys haven't seen Cash for Kids, they basically, the judge basically sold kids for cash to jail. Like even if they didn't need juvenile hall, he sold them there anyway for money. It's like the sickest thing ever. Oh. Hold on, what? Where is it? Phoenix, it's right where you left it on the counter. Yeah, it is insane. It's like crazy. I never touched it. It's it would still be there. <laughs> Thanks, Joe. I don't know why, but okay. So before I close this out, because like I cannot be late for work, before I close this out, um, check out John Crimes from True Crime and Ask Go Lightly. But after Shaq, Ask Go Lightly is a personality like you have to like. Not everybody likes a personality. Um, is there anything you guys want to talk about before I close out? Quit your job and do this full time. If I made enough money, I would. But then I would need benefits. Um, worst thing I've heard on YouTube is the tape recording a serial killer played to his victims and he kidnapped them. Hey, if you guys want to see something really sick, like truly sick, have you guys ever seen the Lou Malinato tape? We were talking about this last night. Someone said you can find it on um, YouTube. It's insane. You can't write that stuff. Then he had the balls to cry. There's grandkids. Won't know him. Everyone watch. Patrick, who do you mean? Yeah, if you guys haven't watched the Son of Sam video, go watch it. Um, sure, Zig. Actually, let me give you a different one because for some reason, nobody's getting... Oh, the judge, I know. It's perplexqt at gmail.com. It's a, for some reason I gave Twisted X Law out last night. I'm not getting emails. But that one I know I always get emails on. I didn't find the video you were talking about last night. All right, let me see if I can find it real fast. It is disgusting. But I'm I'm warning you, it is absolutely gross. Hang on. Um, 
I know. You know what? I'm looking at the wrong thing. I'm looking at Blue Malinati's pizza. Um, hold on, Sweezy. Not leaving yet. Hold on. Let me get. Uh, hang on a second. Where is it? There it is. All right. Um, Luke Magnata. Okay, so when I send it, I did not, you did not hear this from me if you get sick, but here's the link. <clears throat> Love you too, Linda. Yeah, I can hear your old man left. Luca, that's it. Yes, Lindsay, that's the one. Well, that just brings you to the actual site. It doesn't bring you to the actual video. You have to click on it. But yeah, it's some sick shit. Poor Phoebe. But yeah, he is one sick mofo. And I was saying it last night that I do not get sick from gore easily. Like, it has to take a lot. And I thought that, you know what? I... I can handle it. Like in the beginning is like nothing by the end of the video. I literally threw up. Like I have never done that before. And I literally threw up. It was sick. Does the video show someone die? Yes. Um, well, it's not like a brutal murder, but it does show somebody. I think he's dead already. No, he's not dead already. You ever heard of Channing Christian? Bye, Kel. I'll see you guys tomorrow. <laughs> I told you it was six. As I said, don't judge me. It just some people are asking. Um, there's a video too that I've seen where he chops up the Chinese man. That's it's in there. I believe it's it's supposed to be in there. But I, I am am I'm warning you big time. It's bad. I'm not sure if the whole video is in there, but I think it is. But yeah, it was pretty bad. This kid, he is one sick mofo. Like, he should never, ever be out of jail. Mm. It does show the video, right, Stacy? You were content to seeing it? Well, I didn't want to con you. I was content to seeing it, too. And I was fine until, like, three quarters of the end. And I just, I lost it. It's the first time I've ever gotten sick from gore. Like, you know, I could watch anything and it doesn't really matter. Um, thank God he's in jail is right. I'm surprised he's still alive. I mean, I'm surprised like he didn't kill. I think it does show the video, Stacy. It's cooking on a spit. Um, uh, yeah, he was, he was an attention whore too. Oh yeah, it shows the video. Ah. 
I don't know, but even thinking about it is seriously like making my stomach go. Um, I clicked the pic. Squirrels can't look at it. Yeah, it's pretty sick. How is it not on the dark web only? I don't know. Best score, it kind of brings like the dark web to life. Um, well, he allowed the kittens to eat the dead body. He like cut open the guy's butt and had the cats or dogs or something eat it. I mean, literally, I'm getting nauseous just thinking about it because it was so disgusting. Bye, Aftershock. Yeah, it was really bad. You probably, if you watch the whole thing, you might need a bucket. I mean, no joke. It's gross. It starts off fine. Like, it's not bad. You just see him, like, ice pick or whatever. And, uh, but then it gets worse and worse. And it's like, oh, my God, why would you even do this? Or, like, he's having sex with a torso. Like, after the guy's dead and mutilated. Like, it's, uh, I'm literally getting sick thinking about it. Um... I'm going to check out the sync link and then watch Son of Sam. All right. I will see you guys tomorrow. I'm going to shut down. I am glad you guys showed up. I know because Erico's, whoop, because Erico's changed his timing tonight. It kind of screwed me up, but I didn't want to like, you know, interrupt his or go ah. half and half. So that's why I gave him the benefit to just run his video, run his premiere or whatever. And then I was ah. going to go live and just tell you guys, check out the video before. I know I can't be late for work. I really can't. So I hope you guys have a great night. I'll see you guys tomorrow. I love you guys too.